the moment you've all been waiting for. My Warrior Ritual G4 Pad Review, coming up next. Voice over goalie. Hey guys, Wayne the VO Goalie here. So, if you didn't know already, my channel is all about bringing you awesome goalie content. So if you're new here, consider subscribing so you don't miss out on my weekly videos. This week, Warrior Ritual G4 Pad Review. So I've been using these pads for the last two months, and I thought it'd be a good time to give you guys my thoughts on whether or not they are everything that they're hyped up to be. Spoiler alert. Uh, yeah, they are. So some things you guys already know. Uh, bindingless design, thinned out vertical roll uh, for RVH post integration, air slide ridges, and probably the lightest pad I've ever worn. But how do they really perform? In one word, awesome. So if you're looking for a comparison, I'm coming from an old set of pads from 2015, uh, they were double brake and super soft. And these pads are the total opposite. But you know what? There was really no transition time. These pads are so easy to get into that within a couple skates, I was right back to where I was with my old pads. So to touch on just a couple of the new features for the G4 line, thinned out post wedge, totally not a problem for me. I know some people had talked about on the G3 model, they were getting bound up with their pants. But Warrior thinned out the post wedge for the G4 model, so that doesn't seem to be a problem. Active response leg channel. So my old pads I had strapped on pretty tight because that was kind of the style that they played best in. But for these, I go super loose. And it sounds weird when you say it because, you know, if you like a tight leg channel and then you go to something that's just kind of wide open, you can have that sloppy feel to it. But really, the way that the leg channel wraps around your leg, even if you wear these really loose, it still gives you that tight, responsive feel. And I think that's what Warrior is intending with their active leg drop. A way for your leg to feel secure, but hang in a way that covers more of your five hole when you're in your stance, and a quicker seal to the ice with their knee drive system. So really, it's the best of both worlds. You get a tight feel, but you can wear your pads as loose as you want. The air slide ridges. Do they really work? What are they all about? So for me, I totally have no problem sliding at the end of the game. I suspect that the design of the channel really does help push away slush and ice and, and give you that smooth feel at the top of a skate. But honestly, I don't have a comparison between the G3 or the RGT, but for me, my sliding is pretty awesome in these pads. One thing I really like that was kind of a surprise for me is the RVH post integration feature. And that is the slimming of the outer roll here, the vertical roll and the boot brake so that you can get a tight seal into the post in the RVH between your boot and shin. And in the past for me, my technique was to go with the toe of the pad to the post um, in the RVH. And I hate to admit it, but I have let in a squeaker in between my skate and the post when doing it that way. Now I've been working on getting my boot inside the post to get that seal with the shin. And while it has taken a little bit of an adjustment to be able to push off using your shin instead of using your toe or your skate, my seal in the RVH has been really, really tight. The hyper comp material. We all know that the G4 is a stiff pad, but shots really fly off these guys. And I'm not even getting at a level where guys have rockets. I mean, they have soft beer league wrist shots, but rebounds are still flying off these guys. So a couple small issues that I've had with the pads First, I just couldn't get used to the G4 knee pads. Something about, they just felt a little too bulky for me. I've always been a streamlined, minimalist knee pad kind of guy. In fact, I went back to my old Smith knee pads, and they've been working out just fine with my G4 pads. The other thing I had a problem with was the active response toe straps. If you've seen my G4 toe strap mod video, you know what I've already done. Um, but for those who haven't seen that yet, I essentially made my own toe strap, which was just of a longer length, um, because I found that the elastic wasn't breaking in fast enough for me, and or uh, didn't have enough length to suit my preferences. And then the only other issue I had with these pads was, if I strapped the calf wrap too tightly at the back, this part would catch on my tendon guard of my skate when I recovered from the butterfly. So what I ended up doing was playing with the adjustment points inside and adjusting the angle at which I strap it, and that totally solved the problem. So overall, I am totally digging the new G4 pads. They're just really easy to play in, so even if your style is a strict butterfly or somewhere in between that and a hybrid, it still feels like they'll work out for a variety of different goalies. 
So that's about all I have to say about the Warrior Ritual G4 pads. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh my god, it is so hot in here. Somebody get me a water bottle. I am like sweating like a pig. I don't even sweat this much when I play hockey. No, yeah, I, d I don't. The guys I play against, they can barely shoot. I don't have to do much. In fact, I could just lie down, I think, and uh, I probably would make most of the saves. What is your butterfly seal like? Yeah, if it's like anything like mine, it's awesome. Uh, what else do I have to say? These pads are awesome. Do I have a favorite? Probably my left one. Why? Because it's the one I held this whole video. I mean, the right one's right here. It's right here. I could have, I could have used, sorry dude, I didn't get to use you today. I hope you, I hope you make it in the shot as like set dressing or something. Man, these are hot. These are hot. And I, I don't mean my pads, I mean these lights. What, why did I go red? Why did I go all red? Uh, because red is awesome. And it means stop. And that's what you're trying to do, right? Stop. With the puck. Do the warrior re do the warrior G4 pads slide well? Come on, man. Every pad slides well these days. Do these pads slide well? They slide well if you know how to do a butterfly push. <laughs>